this pre presentation is about how uh, digital transformation and automatic decision support were used to optimize uh, machine condition monitoring solution. Here in the image, you can see um, ammonium nitrate, which is one of the main products from a nitrogen fertilizer plant. The presentation is based on a case study that was done at the Angarsk fertilizer plant. They have been faced with um, challenging maintenance issues, so they decided to adopt a unique and technologically advanced machine condition monitoring strategy. The monitoring system that was selected to achieve this has been implemented last year and with fully operational and is fully operational now. In summary, the system includes an automatic decision support system for diagnostics, which improves the reliability and speed for making asset maintenance uh, decisions. In addition to this, uh, a vibration and process data are saved in an OCSoft PI data historian for correlation purposes. The system is also integrated into the Rockwell Automation Factory Talk Analytics and Connected Services. Um, MES system for process optimization and asset maintenance uh, management and utilization. This special combination of taking in data, storing it, processing it for automatic decision support and notification of alarms across various systems is what we'll talk about in this presentation. The Angarsk fertilizer plant, also called Angarsk Zotno Tukovi Zavod, or AATZ, is, um, is located in the east central part of Russia, not far from uh, uh, Lake Baikal. Uh, Angarsk was last modernized and commissioned in, uh, what was it, 2004. It's been operational since 1962 and has since been upgraded, expanded, and changed ownership in a number of times up until 2011 when uh, Angarsk was finally merged into uh, SDS Azot. This Russian business union holding company also has other fertilizer plants that produce a combined total of over 1 million tons of ammonium nitrate, 300,000 tons of uh, ammonium sulfate, and 120,000 tons of uh, caprolactam and a million tons of urea uh, per year. Just for background information, uh, 21.6 million tons of ammonium nitrate are consumed worldwide each year for helping to increase uh, food production for, for billions. And Angarsk fertilizer plant plays an important role in this production. Angarsk is currently producing uh, 270,000 tons per year of ammonium nitrate this chemical is used in a number of applications, but primarily in making fertilizer. This production also includes porous aluminum, uh, uh, ammonium nitrate, which is used for explosives in the um, mining industry, for example. Um, 225,000 tons per year of non-concentrated nitric acid is also produced. This is one of the principal components for making uh, ammonium nitrate. And um, 10,000 tons per year of aqueous ammonia is produced. This has even more applications, but is primarily used for making nitric acid by catalytic oxidation of the ammonia. The nitric acid, as I mentioned before, <clears throat> is used for making the ammonium nitrate. So the process for making ammonium nitrate is time proven and effective, but there can be maintenance issues with the process machines. Uh, later on, we'll talk about ammonium salt deposits on the um, uh, blower blades. Okay, here we will briefly look at the process and the machines for making uh, nitric acid. There are a number of critical machines used in the five production lines of the Haber Bosch process for producing ammonia at Angarsk and converting this into nitric acid and ammonium nitrate. Some of these machines are relatively old and have been and have uh, recurring maintenance issues uh, on these, especially those with uh, rolling element bearings. 
the blowers used in the uh, ammonia air mixing process for the uh, catalytic ammonia oxidation converter are, are good examples of these. The blowers are shown in red in, in the picture here. Flex Controls, one of the Roland Care Vibro channel partners in Russia, was asked to give a, um, a proposal for addressing the problem um, by looking at the five uh, blowers. Here we see a picture of one of the blowers used at Angarsk for the ammonia air mixing process. There's so basically five blowers. They're older, old machines, and there have been historic uh, maintenance uh, uh, problems with these. Now we'll look at the uh, monitoring solution. The Bullencare Vibro uh, VC8000 setpoint uh, system was selected for the task for condition monitoring of the blowers. It is used both for um, protection and for uh, condition monitoring, but we'll focus on the condi condition monitoring application part of it. The setpoint system has functionality that lends itself well to this particular application. All data is exported to the existing Pi system for storage, which means existing IT infrastructure can be used without having to buy new uh, IT systems servers. Just as a side note, the system has a um, special algorithm for storing time waveform data in the Pi, which uh, we'll talk a little bit later in the next slide. Since all the data is stored in Pi, there is no proprietary database server for the system. There's not even a, a condition monitoring server. So you may ask, how can condition monitoring be done then? Again, um, condition monitoring functionality, such as monitoring to alarm limits, uh, notification of alarms, reporting, and other functions can all be done in Pi and other systems, which we will see in the next slide. The end result of this is that there are no proprietary IT servers to maintain, and there is no restrictive licensing for sharing and accessing that data. As we mentioned before, time waveform data is stored in Pi. So Setpoint's diagnostic software can import this data for post-processing uh, analysis. This can be used for diagnostics or for root cause analysis, for example. Other third-party systems can also access the time waveform data stored in Pi and, and do diagnostics and analysis as explained in the next slide. The scaler and the time waveform data can also be used for automatic decision support for diagnostics. And we'll talk about more about that later. Now we will talk about the Pi system for data storage, visualization, and correlation. The benefit of storing all data in Pi, including process and vibration data from the monitoring system, is that more people have access to the data without restrictive licensing from a proprietary database server. It is also easier uh, to correlate uh, this data together for more reliable diagnostics and uh, root cause analysis. This is also easier to see which events are process related and which are an indication of uh, deteriorating uh, uh, machine health. There is Pi functionality for building up tags for visualizing data, monitoring to alarm limits, etc. Here is an example of a Pi process. Um, um, process book screen. There are also many third-party um, Pi application developers that make the same uh, functionality. As mentioned before, time waveform vibration data is also saved in the Pi system, which can be used for uh, diagnostics. Pi System Explorer enables rules to be made for automatic system diagnostics. This function evaluates measurements to automatically give a diagnostic information on the condition of the rolling element bearings. 22 uh, separate rules were built into the automatic decision support function. 
And here we talk about a, a third system in the condition monitoring solution, the Rockwell automation uh, system called Factory Talk. It's a manufacturing execution system, or MES for short. The MES provides enterprise-wide operational and intelligence for process optimization. This is done by production performance analysis uh, of the process, which uh, ultimately results in reducing IT support costs, improving scheduling efficiency, <clears throat> and reducing equipment downtime. Factory Talk Analytics, which is interface to the Pi system, uses much of the data from the set point system and the automatic decision support uh, information from Pi for asset maintenance management. Although these interface systems work closely together within, all together, um, these systems uh, work very closely together within this uh, Internet of Things um, drive by industry to um, converge IT and OT functions through a digital business uh, transformation. Now here, we'll present the alarm management concept for the condition monitoring uh, solution. The alarm management system takes in vibration measurement uh, data from the set point system and automatic decision support uh, information from the Pi system and feeds this into the MES system for to notify users. The condition monitoring functionality of the setpoint system employs automatic fault detection and diagnostics for rolling element bearings. Historically, uh, the bearings on the older blowers have been failing at non-predictable times due to both wear and uh, lubrication problems. This has been a concern for the ANGARS maintenance staff for several years, so one of the main requirements uh, for the new condition monitoring system was to address this issue. At present, the following parameters uh, are monitored. The uh, REB, or the rolling element bearing uh, fault frequency detection function, or measurement detects on the inner race, the outer race, cage, and rolling elements uh, uh, that generate impacts that can be detected by uh, filtered acceleration measurements if the carpet noise is low in relation to the bearing fault frequencies. A frequency range is monitored where all the REB uh, defects occur, also known as prime spike uh, frequency range, which is typically between, uh, let's say, one to seven times the uh, ball passing frequency on the outer race. This technique is used for early detection of uh, REB faults. Another measurement, the high frequency demodulation spectra. This technique can isolate and detect inner and outer uh, race faults regardless of the noise carpet level. All bearing fault frequencies can excite component resonances, but the inner and outer uh, race fault frequencies can also modulate this resonance, which is also called the carrier frequency because of the uh, variable uh, load uh, uh, zones on the bearing. By filtering um, out the uh, acceleration and low frequency vibration signals um, and demodulating the carrier frequency and then filtering it out, the original uh, inner and outer race um, bearing fault frequencies are, are basically isolated then. And, and just as importantly, uh, these same fault frequencies can also give an indication of, for example, in, uh, improper lubrication, which is one of the primary uses for this measurement. In addition to these, there are a number of other measurements that are calculated and used for trending, such as overall vibration level and uh, first and second running speed harmonics uh, for bandpass measurements. Now, the diagnostic rules implemented at Angarsk were based on the experience of two other production facilities in Russia using the set point system. One was the Omsk Polyon plant, and the other is the Sibur uh, Zapzip uh, plant, uh, both of which are producing uh, polyolefins. Now, the MES takes 
in the uh, fault detection and diagnostic information from the automatic diagnostic system and relays this to the uh, operators in the form of alarms, such as uh, the green, which means no defects, yellow, minor defects, orange, serious defects, and the red, extremely serious defects, where um, operation is no longer allowed. Now, these alarms refer to the specific bearings in question. As um, diagnosis is automatically made at the same time the fault was detected, there's no need to wait for a diagnostic specialist to manually do the same analysis during their working hours or after holidays, which may be too late if it is a question of a lubrication problem. The operator can react immediately when the fault occurs and inform the maintenance technicians about what type of problem occurred and where. This system greatly simplifies the decision-making process in making maintenance action and, and speeds it up without requiring the immediate need for, uh, for a specialist, which may not be available um, at that time. As seen in this slide, the complex analytics for um, early bearing fault detection and diagnostics has been greatly, uh, greatly simplified. Okay, experience up to now. As the um, monitoring system is completely operational for a year now, several, several, several cases have come up that confirm, in fact, the fault detection and automatic diagnostic capability of the system. Uh, a couple of months ago, uh, one of the uh, Angarsk operators received the message, uh, lack of grease in the bearings of uh, motor number one. Uh, for blower number one. He was thinking this was a false positive alarm, but ordered his team anyways to stop the machine. They opened the electric motor and casing and found only 30% uh, lubrication. And so when they added grease and started the machine up again, the alarm went away. So this was good confirmation that the diagnostic rules were working. There are other faults such as loose bearings and um, an unbalanced. Um, just for information, there are only five bl uh, blowers at the plant, but uh, they're numbered one, three, five, eight, and ten. Uh, there was uh, also a soft foot on a couple of the blowers. Here we see uh, the screen for blower number three. The plot on on the left uh, on the left side uh, shows um, uh, running speed vibration on the uh, non-driven end of the uh, motor, which is um, what 10.95 millimeters per second R RMS at 48.75 hertz. And the other plot is uh, envelope spectrum showing the blade passing frequency and its uh, and its harmonic number two harmonic. But not shown here is a measurement on the driven end of the motor, which is 6.59 millimeters per second RMS. So the difference between the driven end and the non-driven end indicated a soft foot condition since there was a wide variation in the vibration amplitude. Okay, one problem that has affected all, basically all the blowers over time is an excessive um, running speed vibration due to unbalance. Um, this is due to ammonium salt uh, deposits on the uh, ammonium vapor uh, blower blades, which uh, causes imbalance. It is, it is very important to carefully monitor this condition, since uh, if it's not corrected in due time, the bearings can be overloaded and, uh, and fail prematurely. In summary, the blowers are quite old and need a lot of attention and the unique monitoring solution was able to address these issues and efficiently and cost effectively. The new monitoring system not only helped the maintenance technicians to initiate work orders, but they also gained, the operators gained a better understanding of their assets. Okay, by starting off and monitoring only the five blowers at Angarsk, uh, this has given the maintenance technicians an excellent opportunity to gain experience in working with uh, the monitoring system. 
there's still a number of uh, other machines that are old and in need of uh, condition monitoring also. So there are plans already underway to extend the uh, monitoring system in the, to the uh, nitrous gas compressor uh, for the uh, nitrogen dioxide absorption columns as, as the next step, as shown in this uh, uh, figure here. Alrighty, this is the end of my presentation.